Hello there, grumpy old fart here. Um, I'm doing a UFO legends video. This is a this is a this is on one of the most prolific, well-respected, and sought-after UFO investigators of all time. This is about Stanton Friedman. Stanton Friedman was an icon in ufology, the study of UFOs. When you want to hire someone to investigate an unproven topic, you want someone who can disprove hoaxes and mistaken reports. Enter Stanton T. Friedman. Friedman had unique qualifications. He was a nuclear physicist. He was one of the original civilian investigators. He was the original civilian investigator of the Roswell UFO incident. He worked research and development for several large companies. The men had some credentials, okay? Nobody can argue that. He was smart, and he investigated scientifically. He didn't investigate. He didn't just go in and take a report and say, yeah, this is what happened, you know. No, he investigated, okay? Uh, he was born July 29th, 1934. He died May 13th, 2019, just last year. God rest him. You know, uh, God rest his soul. Rest in peace, sir. You were sorely, sorely missed. Prayers for him and his family. Um, in 1968, Stanton Friedman told a committee of the U.S. House of Representatives that the evidence suggests that Earth is being visited by intelligently controlled extraterrestrial vehicles. Let that sink in. I'm going to read that again. He told a committee that of the House of U.S. the U.S. House of Representatives, he said that the evidence suggests that Earth is being visited by intelligently controlled extraterrestrial vehicles. He he didn't believe every report, but he did scientific investigations, real investigations. With the announcements made last year by the U.S. Navy and this year by the Pentagon, it looks like Friedman was right. Uh, this is a guy that has been or had been giving lectures and talking at UFO conventions and things like that but he was also taken seriously by the US government this man had every credential you could think of to be a serious investigator on top of that he had scientific background to allow him to actually investigate these sightings and he was a, a skeptic who, as I understand it, changed his mind with the evidence. Not with He followed the evidence to a logical conclusion. He didn't believe every UFO report. He didn't say every, every report was about a UFO. But there was enough to make him believe that UFOs were real, they did exist, and that aliens were visiting us. E intelligent extraterrestrials, as he put it. Uh, intelligently controlled extraterrestrial vehicles were visiting us. Now, that being said, um, again, with all these announcements being made, looks like he was right. God rest you, Mr. Friedman. Dr. Friedman, we miss you. And if you can catch his lectures on YouTube, you will not be disappointed. The man could talk. He was a really, really great orator. And he was a hell of a good man. You folks have a good day. God bless one and all.